Hello everyone, welcome to Screencast SC10082. In today's screencast, you will create a captive portal wireless LAN. Captive portal uh, is a hotspot uh, used for guest access to the network. So let's get started. We will be creating a guest wireless LAN today and mapping it to VLAN 8. Since we want any user to connect to the network, there will be no encryption or authentication uh, set on this uh, wireless LAN. However, we would uh, enable the uh, captive portal uh, policy on this wireless LAN. Uh, this would ensure that the user gets redirected to a login page. Once the uh, user credentials are verified against the radius server, the user would successfully be able to log onto the network. To create a captive portal wireless LAN, navigate to configuration wireless, click on add. Let's call our uh, captive portal wireless LAN as guest. Let's set the SSID to guest as well. Let's map this to VLAN 8. Click on OK. Navigate to security. Uh, by default, uh, the authentication type has been set to none. We would like to enforce captive portal, so we will uh, click check captive portal enabled. We've already created a captive portal policy uh, in our previous screencast. Uh, from the encryption type, we just want to leave it as open so that any guest user can connect to the uh, wireless LAN and get redirected to the captive portal page. Click on OK, commit our changes, uh, let's save it, and we'll exit out of here. As you can see, we have our uh, guest wireless LAN that has been uh, uh, enabled. It's mapped to VLAN 8, and since the authentication type and encryption type is set to none, any user would be able to connect to it. However, uh, since the captive portal policy is enabled, the user would get redirected to uh, the login page. Since this uh, RFS 7000 is going to be acting uh, as the uh, main hotspot gateway, we will uh, have to make sure that the captive portal policy has been enabled on this device itself. So let's navigate to device. Let's click on our RFS 7000. Uh, click on edit. Uh, Navigate down to services. As you can see here, uh, the captive portal hosting. This uh, this RFS 7000 is uh, is hosting the captive portal pages. So we got to ensure that uh, it has been enabled. So let's uh, check Moto, which is our captive portal policy. Let's click on OK, commit our changes, and then save it. The configuration file for today's screencast can be downloaded from the link as seen on your screen. You should now be able to create a captive portal or hotspot based wireless LAN. Thank you for watching.